That one has me done fucked up. Hi. Okay. Let me just have a sip of coffee, guys, because it is fucking early, okay? It is 6.30. I actually think it's before 6.30. Ugh. It's happening. It's here. I am extremely excited. Can we just quickly talk about the fact that I have literally gone from not even knowing who Olivia was to now being a hardcore stan? Within three songs, Good For You really was that bitch to the point where that song has made me a stan now. that like, I loved Driver's Licence like everyone else did. Um, I loved Deja Vu also, but Good For You, there was something about it. But anyway, hi! Welcome back to another video. Sour is finally ours. I don't understand why I'm so excited, but I'm extremely excited and I've been looking forward to this day. So, yeah. I think I heard from you guys in the comments of my last video on Olivia that sour represents all types of relationships going sour, but then I also think I saw something about it's like the stages of getting over someone or like the stages of a of the ending of a relationship. So like which kind of makes sense because first in the track list from what we've heard does come driver's license. So driver's license was very like open wound, she was really sad. Then deja vu was kind of like bitter and then good for you was kind of like still a bit like arsey but she's just like you know what good for you like it must be fucking happy bit of jealousy so it makes sense that like we're kind of going in a chronological order so I, I am expecting story there's a lot of these titles that really get me excited so without further ado let's just get into it because i don't feel the need to chat any longer if you guys are excited to see my thoughts to olivia rodrigo's sour please do keep watching if you enjoy this video for whatever reason please do subscribe i would love to have you here check me out on instagram and twitter the bell's going up there as well as link down below and yeah let's get into it honeys <laughs> okay so it is 11 songs and um, we've heard three so we've only got eight left to listen to first track brutal now in my mind is this going to be the initial breakup or like just after like the aftermath let's just find out let's, let's go fuck what guys i was so prepared for a nice mellow beginning <laughs> oh. jesus I fully came into this thinking, oh, surely she's going to start us off a little bit slower. I'm so insecure, I think, that I'm so disappointed, because who am I if not exploited, and I'm so sick. Oh my fucking god, shit. No, guys, I'm not ready for this mentally. Also, I will just quickly say I do speak a lot, probably more than the average human, so if that's not your deal, you've been warned. Oh my god, these lyrics. She said, who am I if not exploited? Oh my god, that kind of hit me. Oh no, this is about to be that bitch. Right. Okay, Olivia. <sighs> Let me gather myself. Oh my god! Yo, these fucking lyrics, are we hearing this? They say that these are the golden years, but I wish I could disappear. Live. Can I call it Olivia? If you're watching this, are we on that? Are we on that basis? Are we on a nickname basis? I was gonna say you can call me. I was gonna say you can call me Bra, but no one wants to call someone Bra. Ooh. I'm a mess already. It's brutal out of here. Oh my god. And I hate every song I write, and I'm not cool. Honey, don't don't hate every song you write. Absolutely not. Well, she must not hate these songs because we've got given these ones. God, I imagine how many she's sat on. <gasps> It's a fucking banger. We're slowing down. Guys, I already know I'm gonna bum this work. We're literally the first track in and I already know. Wow. Wow. Guys, now that's how you do an opener to a fucking debut album. This is her debut album. Ooh. Lyrically, hello. That was a song. So right at the end there, we kind of heard about Got A Broken Heart, this whole thing. So I'm assuming the next track, 
traitor might obviously be confronting more about the breakup, potentially. But brutal, what an intro. Let's continue, traitor. Oh, this is almost four minutes. This is what I'm here for, absolutely. Guys, guys, we are. We're getting into it, and I didn't. I don't think I was prepared actually, but we are getting into it. Now I'm not about to sit here and assume who she's talking about either, so I'm probably not going to speak about that because I don't feel like we need to talk about any drama or anything. But God, this is going to be sad, isn't it? Fuck me. Y'all, she ain't mincing her words. Do you know when, in my last reaction, I said that she's coming for next with this? Where was the lie? Right? Fuck me. You're still a traitor. Oh, it's good to know he didn't cheat at least. Fuck me. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is, they're doing what I wanted, which is to slowly intensify each chorus as we go along. Guys, lyrically, once again, I feel like I'm not gonna have to need- I'm not gonna need to bring it up much more often because I think it's pretty evident, but lyrically she's smashing it. Whoa. <laughs> so basically she's calling out this person's feelings um, towards this girl that they said was just a friend. Now, funnily enough, as soon as they called it quits, he ran straight to this person and they were no longer friends, honey buns. Let's just put it that way. Okay, right. This gives me Lord vibes. When she says you're still a traitor, it takes it straight down. Ooh, and I like that a lot. No, I can't handle that. We're getting angry, I like it. I've just popped me next, I'm that stressed. Oh, Olivia, Olivia. <laughs> the progression of that song was everything. The melody, the whole, the whole fucking song was perfection, okay? That was more what I expected coming into this, to be fair, but it still fucking slapped me straight on the ass and said, hi, wake up, I know it's 6.30, but let's fucking do this. Oh my God, Olivia Rodrigo. Right, right. Let's just move on. Don't want to shout. Next track, the iconic track that is Driver's License. I'm literally going to probably leave a tiny bit in if you want to see my reaction to that. that. There's a there's reaction, reaction off. off. I'm struggling, you see. This is what happens when I get overwhelmed. If you want to see that reaction, there is a reaction on my channel. I'll link it down below in the description. But yeah. Okay, that was Driver's License. Now, this next song is the one that I've been really intrigued to hear. And that is One Step Forward, Three Steps Back. So this comes just after Driver's License and just before Deja Vu, right? In my mind, Deja Vu was obviously about like jealousy and that kind of thing. So this is obviously her starting to get over the relationship and then she feels like she's just taking three steps back. That's kind of where I'm thinking we're gonna go with this one. So let's just find out, let's just go. Oh, pretty short one. Just ask you how you are. That's the first rule, honey. If you're trying to get over someone, do not fucking call them. Block them. Maybe no, maybe don't block them. If it's a mutual, like, obviously breakup, don't block them. But, like, I blocked my ex just until I was, like, over him and stuff. It's, it's a healthy thing to do, honeys. Don't call them. Guys, 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 guys. This is, like, the perfect transition between driver's license, which is obviously, like I said, really raw emotion, and deja vu. This is the perfect bridge of the two songs. Like, extremely simplistic production-wise, but I am into that kind of thing. I fucking bum this kind of production, okay? I can low-key see, see this one being a favourite, which I think might be an unpopular opinion, but... Like, as soon as I know the lyrics... This part... Yes. I had nothing else to say, but I just needed to appreciate this little melody switch up they've got going on. The 
I can hear the saliva in her voice. Whew. I'm not sure if, I, if I've been able to hear that the whole time, but I've just tuned in and I can hear, and I love it. I don't understand. You can hear it. Oh! That kind of shit, it bugs me out, right? It really, like, it gets me going. It really does. One step forward, three steps back. I think she's going to be a favourite of mine. I'm not sure if people are going to agree, but I think she's a beautiful song. Simplistic, probably the most simple song we've had so far. I think, yeah, gorgeous. Moving on, next track, Deja Vu, a song I've heard. There's a reaction on my channel. I'll link it down below. She thinks it's This song, once again, lyrically, everything. It, the whole thing is everything. We're five for five so far and I'm obsessed with them all. Next track, another one that I've heard. Reaction on my channel from last week. Good for you. Let's do it. Probably my favourite single she's released. I'm trying not to give you my thoughts to those songs, but I think it's pretty obvious. But anyway, yep, she's another one. <laughs> Moving on, next track, Enough For You. This sounds sad. Please don't be sad, I'm ready to bang. No, I think it's gonna be sad. But guys, you all in me, I'm ready to fucking headbang now. If I looked like the other prom queens No, no, what we're not gonna do is change ourselves for someone else. That's not, that's what we're not gonna do, right, Olivia? Oh no, oh no. For you to say you're not the compliment type. What? So that's just his excuse for not complimenting you? Mm. Fuck, fuck. I'm so glad, low key, this is safer. We don't need that. I'm ready to get bad bitch after this song, yeah? I'm not about to sit here and cry. We've got the rest of the album to go through yet. Guys, is she joking me? I knew that's where it was going. As soon as she said, you always used to say that I'm never satisfied. I knew where she was going to go with that. And I was right. Oh God, this one's ruining me. Fuck. It's too early for this. Can we all agree? Y'all, she ain't fucking around with these lyrics. She's talking about being used and discarded. All she wanted to be was enough. Oh, I cannot. I can't do it. It's too early. It's still before 7 a.m. What? Huh? And now she's going to bail on his ass. That's right. To somebody else. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's the energy I'm here for. We're not dwelling, we're gonna move on and we'll find someone that does want us. <clears throat> not me, it's you. Shit. <sighs> wow. That one has me done fucked up. That one is literally like one step forward, three steps back, big sister. Wow, definitely going to be a favourite, I already know. And now I think that will be a popular opinion because I think y'all will connect with that one, I hope you do. She she put everything into that song, she really, really did. Thank you Miss Olivia for that. Hmm, let's just move ahead and go for the next track which is Happier. Now I'm hoping for some hopefulness. Because I'm ready to bop now. I love that intro. This has the potential to switch up at the chorus, so I'm hoping it will. Yeah, so we have got like a little bit of bitterness there still, which I like. Guys, she is 
a lyricist. Like, she is a storyteller. I cannot get over how good these lyrics have been. Like, every single one has told a really clear story. And lyrics are the thing that draw me in. They get me going. And she has served no end so far. This is going to be another one. That's a little switch up. I'm not, I'm, I'll take it. I like this because it's not just so one-sided and it's not just her saying you're an asshole because she's in this track now she's acknowledging her own shitty like ways and her the way she's the way she's approached the situation. She's acknowledging her own actions. Come on! I'm into this one a lot. Wow. Wow. This is a song. Oh, I'm getting really excited. This is a song. Wow. With me, I'm so God, she sounds fucking gorgeous. Wow. I feel like I've not acknowledged this yet. Guys, she sounds fucking gorgeous. I feel like I've not spoken about the vocals much because I've been so focused on lyrics. But I think it's a given that she sounds gorgeous. She has vocals. She is, in fact, serving them on a platter. Y'all, that's another one. This album! I'm trying not to get really crazy. Because I could. This is a really good album, but we're bordering on the end, which is kind of frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. Moving on, let's just keep going. Happier. She's that bitch. We knew she were. Next track, Jealousy, Jealousy. I want some c please. Please. That's slightly more upbeat, I'll take it. Pull my phone across the room Cause all I see a girl's too good to be true Yeah! Beauty this is about to be me, isn't it? About everyone in the gay community, right. Oh! <laughs> oh, she's a jealousy, jealousy started following me. We love it. Just editing and I just realised that I didn't actually tell you why I liked that lyric so much. Because obviously she's on about um, throwing her phone across the room because she keeps seeing all these girls that are like essentially really perfect on social media. Then she said, jealousy, jealousy started following me like how we follow people on Instagram. Hence the preface of this song. I like that. Smart lyric. There's something spicy about when people sing from a jealous point of view and like a bitter point of view that gets me riled up and I like that. So to feel jealousy is not the best emotion. But to listen about when it's not your situation. Kind of slaps. <laughs> I like this one too. Oh. I want her to build. She's building. She is going to build on this. This is going to be a banger. Yeah, all right. Bridge. She always serves with a bridge. We've been new. She knows how to smash a bridge and give us a switch up, right? She just said, all I see is what I, what I should be. Happier, prettier, jealousy, jealousy. Okay. Oh, the grunginess as well. Everything. I like the bitterness. I like the spice. I liked the grungy production. I really liked that one. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Who, who'd have thought she was gonna go a bit more punk rocky with this album? I had no idea. I thought that was really unexpected for her to do, but absolutely into that. Moving on, next track, favorite crime. Two and a half minutes. Are we going sad again? Ah. Oh. I'll let you treat me like that. Shit. Well, I hope I was your favorite crime. That's the way we've gone with it. She hopes she was his favorite crime. Shit. Okay, this is not where I thought we were going to be going with this one. I fully thought we were killing some hoes. So sad. Oh my god. No, do not give me that. Do not give me that. One of the things that I enjoy when it comes to music is when a singer like 
speak slash sings fast. It gets me pumped, it gets me going. And she decided to slap that in this. And I was already in love with this track. Yes. Wow. Wow. She said, I hope that I was your favourite crime because baby you were mine. Y'all, I'm glad that track was short. I'm glad it was short and sweet because I'm not sure I could have handled a four minute of that. Right? God. Because I will say, although we've, we have had some really short tracks, like I'm talking two minutes, two and a half minutes, like I've not felt like they were too short. I feel like she came, she did what she needed to do and just dipped. And it left me hungry, but in the best way. That was definitely the case with that one, for sure. Ooh, another great track. I'm finding it hard to grasp that this is her first ever album. I really am, but we can get into this at the end. Let's just get through this last track. Hope you're okay. Now this worries me. Oh, God. What? What is this? And who are we talking about and what is happening here? His parents cared more about the Bible. Wait a fucking minute. Y'all, I might be really stretching here, but... Conan Gray has a song, and I know they're really good friends. Conan Gray has a song where he talked about him and this girl who were friends when they were younger, and they made a pact that they were gonna make enough money so that they could leave because like their parents weren't good, whatever, this whole thing. He basically alluded to the fact that like he was able to leave at a certain point and she potentially wasn't, whatever. Why does this make me think of that? What? Am I reaching there? <sighs> you know what, let's just continue, I could be wrong. Wait, no, because Conan literally said in his song, after he said that line, he says, I hope that she's alright. Y'all can't tell me that these lyrics do not somehow correlate. He fully is talking about two people, him and his friend from when they were younger, both their parents were evil, they were gonna run away, he managed to, she couldn't. And he says, I wonder if she's alright. Y'all, I think I might be reaching, but let me know down in the comments because I don't know if I am. And she's saying, I hope that you're okay. What? Parents hate Guys, she's speaking about different stories, like in The Story by Conan Gray, which was his last track on his debut album. Tell me that's not a coincidence. I'm fucking into it. Oh God, I hope that you're happy. Olivia, you're gonna rip my heart out, honey. Oh, and now we're having a long ass outro with a bit of muffling. Oh. Jesus. What? Who was that at the end? Who was she speaking to at the end? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to know. Yeah, we, we don't know people, we don't know. I was looking at lyrics to see if like, um, there was like subtitles for that last outro, but you can't even hear it. Oh, what an outro. Guys, what? an album. Now, so far for me, Demi Lovato has ruled 2021 in terms of album. Her album has done it for me. Smash hit, right? This is a contender, It's all I'm gonna say, okay? For a debut motherfucking album... Olivia, you did that. That's all I can say, to be honest. There's, there is honestly not one bad thing or niggle or anything that I can say about this work. There is not one bad thing. We had all different styles. We had a bit of punk rock. We had our ballads. We had the deep cuts. We had the minimal tracks. We had a, a bit of like arsiness, bit of bitterness in Jealousy Jealousy. We had everything. We had a bit of spice. She really gave us everything in the kitchen sink, but made it a beautiful, cohesive work. And I have not got 
literally anything bad to say. Let me know what you guys think down below, but I think this could be one of the best debut albums I have ever, ever heard. I'm here for a deluxe edition if you want to give us that, Olivia. Just, just so you know. But anyway, guys, this does bring us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video for whatever reason and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I would love to have you here. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. The bell screen up there as well as link down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, love you guys lots. Goodbye.